Hey guys, Tyler from Berlin Man Gaming here with my review of Sonic Forces. Uh, I'm reviewing the Switch version. I don't know if there's much of a difference between the Xbox One, PC, and the PlayStation 4 version. So, here's your stage select screen. It's um, This will say is interesting, because that way you can at least... You've got two different ways you can manually hover over the level and hit the A button, or you can hit the X button on the Switch console version and go to the list. Um, I, w I wasn't too excited for this. I bought this on a whim last minute kind of thing. I had it pre-ordered originally and then cancelled it, and then just, just like, you know what? Try it out. Why not? Um, this kind of falls the suit of generations of playing between modern and classic Sonic, uh, but you also now get to create your own avatar. I'll bring up that window shortly, and I gotta say, I know I said this during the Sonic Mania, I'm tired of them just panning to the nostalgia and reusing the same old levels. Like, I'm sick of playing Green Hill, I'm playing it right now just to sh show you that it is in the game, but like, we, we, we don't need to play. Like, I know it's a little... It, it's different, and, like, they've got the worms from uh, Sonic Lost World, and they've added different... Di different things to make it unique, but, like, come on. We, we don't need to revisit the same levels or do the same level tropes over and over again. Like, you can come up with some original designs here. Um... One thing is the levels, there there are 30 levels and that's including bosses, there's a bunch of extra stages uh, that are just challenge based. W one thing I, like they're, they're pretty short, but one thing this game does, I can say as a really quick positive, is there are no lives, you'll see no live counter. Rings are meaningless, they're only just for point score, but like, rings itself are pointless. Ah, didn't get it, that's right. Here's a huge negative that I hate. As soon as you finish... Oh, didn't happen, but like... When usually you finish a stage, you get a bunch of items to, for your custom character. The third character you'll play as. And it takes forever, especially if you S-rank a stage. It takes forever and you're spending 15 to 20 seconds just waiting before you can get to the cutscene or anything. This SOS means there's uh, guys you can save a character that's stuck in there. An avatar, you save them, you get an extra thing. I'm not gonna do that. So, avatar. Uh, I'll show up. My avatar's a cat. Uh, his ability is to hold on to some rings after taking damage. Now, here's something I like. They give him a weapon, and it's based on the different wisps. This is something I really did not like. That the wisps are back, which fine. I like the Wisps, I love them in colors and generations, the few times they use them, we're fine, but like, we, we don't need the Wisps back. Like, and they're used so badly in this game because the great thing about the other games was, is if you found a Wisp, you could use that kind of Wisp throughout the lo level. This, I have to select Asteroid, for example. The, the others... If I see that there's a red ring to cat collect, yeah, they're, they're backs uh, from Generations and Lost World, I have to go back out of the level, equip that, the weapon for that, for that wisp, and then come back to that level to get the red ring, which in, in my, my opinion is ridiculous. The customized features neat, so you can make the character your own, and... I have certainly not unlocked a lot, all the stuff, but I, I've unlocked a bit. Click it out. You get a bunch, like if you bought the game new, or got like the bonus edition, you get like covers for uh, stickers to go over the, whatever console for the controller you got. But you also got a free couple items, so you can change a bunch of things. Since I beat the game, I can make a second avatar. So you can do male or female. And how you tell the difference is female 
you get the more effeminate eyes and the eyelashes. You also get like a little unitard thing over. But there are different species. Dog, restart with some rings after a knockout. Wolf, you get to draw items towards you. Rabbit, extend your invincibility duration when hit. Bear, blows enemies away while performing wire attack. Cat, as you know. Bird, enable you to perform a double jump. Wow, that's actually kind of handy. Hedgehog, dropped rings will remain longer. Hmm. Not going to make a second avatar. But let's go to an avatar stage. I don't want a boss fight. If this isn't an avatar stage, or if it's a classic Sonic stage, I'll say stay if it's one of those two. If it's a modern Sonic, I'm gonna get out. Alright, classic Sonic. He's back. If you've seen the ending to Sonic Mania, it explains, ties into this, which great and all that, but like, if I want to play Sonic, classic Sonic, I'll play Sonic Mania or some of the classic Sonic games. Like, this just gets on my nerves with, they're just constantly pandering and don't know what to do with the franchise because they're just nostalgia whoring. But classic Sonic handles and feels the same way he does in like generations so. and in mania except for not having the drop dash and other abilities which is fine just get out Oh, because I have the episode Shadow, you can play a Shadow. Yeah, that's some that's something I kind of get mad. Like, what? Wh why does this have to? Why can't we play as the other characters? At least with Mania, you got Knuckles, you got Tails. With this game, it depends on the stage the character you play. So your avatar, you can do a homing attack, an attack on whatever wisp. I currently have Asteroid. Grapple, which you'll use for platforming. Which is neat, I guess, but you you, you feel really slow, and I find, I, I don't know if it's me, but I feel the speed is so inconsistent with the character where I can't stop on a dime, or it really takes, sometimes, I'll, I'll stop and start up and it'll be much faster than it normally is. I, I don't know what it is. But the story in this game is bland and pretty forgettable. Like, you don't really need too much of a story. They try to make more of it than they should. I get it, but this is a Sonic game here, not nothing more. Now that I have the full little wisp there, Asteroid gives you invincibility, so I can just run through things for the short period of time. Yeah. The music I find is okay. Which is kind of sad since a lot of Sonic games have really, even some really bad ones, have some great soundtracks. This one, I didn't find a lot of the soundtracks. The songs for levels that memorable, but a few of them I found, like, they're, they're still good, some of them. Just, I can't, wouldn't be able to whistle them without being in the level to get the tune. This is a very short Sonic game. It's only like three to four hours. Um, now into my final thoughts and uh, reading. I, 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 I can 
only, only recommend this game if you're a hardcore fan, and I still neglect on it, because this game's just bland and average. And just really makes me wish for Sega to, to you know, take a year or two off, you make it have Christian Whitehead and the guys that made Sonic Mania make another classic Sonic game like that and you guys take they take the time to figure something out for modern Sonic but let, let's bring back the extra characters as playable let's try something different go back maybe to the adventure style of gameplay do, do something like this is like I understand it's a little different but like it, it just didn't work and I'm kind of tired with them ex trying to <laughs> come up with weird things of oh we can't let you play as the other characters with when you have two games in the same year come out where one allows you to and the other doesn't of, of Sonic's friends Come on. Like, at least give me Tails. At least give me Knuckles. I know they give you Shadow because it's basically a carbon copy. Palette Swap. But. If I had to rate this game, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Is my rating. Uh, I, I strong. If you're going to pick it up. Like, I know it's only, I think, forty nine ninety nine here in Canada. I got a little cheaper because the Amazon Prime discount. I would strongly, strongly suggest waiting till a price drop because there will be one for like Boxing Day. I don't know about Black Friday. Wait till about like I'd say wait till about twenty dollars because then you're maybe get your money's worth. Like I, I feel right now I didn't get my money's worth. Like the stickers kind of help with that. I, I may go to the free DLC of Episode Shadow and try that out sometime, but not to any time soon and I don't even want to stream this game to play it to play it for you guys because I don't think it would just be a chore for me to get through want to replay some of these stages and I don't think it's that interesting that you guys want to watch it so this has been Tyler from Birdman Game